Okay, this is the guided practice for lesson 1.1 and we're adding integers with the same sign. We're gonna do this with some counters, which we got here, and we're gonna do it with some number lines. And we'll just get right into it. Now, before I go farther, I feel like I need to show you well, what are integers. The integers are this right here. Uh, that is an integer. Negative one is an integer. These are positive and negative whole numbers. Those are integers. In fact, all the stuff you see down here, all of these right here, these are all integers on a number line. Okay, nothing in between the integers. That's safe for the rational numbers. But anyway, that's what we're talking about. So I'm going to erase this stuff here and find each sum. Now the sum, sum means to add, and we're adding this, so we're adding five negatives and one negative. So we have five negatives here and one negative. So how many counters are there? There are uh, six, okay. Do they represent positive or negative? Well, everything's negative. So they, they all represent the negative. So negative five and negative one. Well, if you have five negatives and one negative, you have six negatives, so negative six would be the sum of that. And we move on to here, as we have uh, two negatives right here, negative two, and seven negatives, seven negatives. How many counters are there? Well, I believe there are nine altogether. And do they represent positive or negative? Well, they're all negative. And so when you put that together, negative and nine, you get negative nine for your answer. So two negatives and seven, seven negatives give you a sum of nine negatives. Okay, what does this look like on a number line? Well, uh, what we would have is we have negative five, so that's our starting point, negative five, and then we add negative two to it. Now, if we add two, that would be going to the right, but we're not, we're adding negative. So we're gonna go the opposite direction. And often, this right here is not just two, but also called the opposite of two. So that's one way to think about it. If we have negative five, and we go the opposite of two, that would be going two to the left. And that's exactly what this looks like. So we would go two to the left, and let me get that for you. So two to the left, so you're starting at negative five, and you're going to the left, and that means you arrive at negative seven. So number four, let's see, we start at negative one, so we're gonna start here and we're gonna to add to that three negatives. So one and then three negatives. One, two, three. We're gonna arrive at negative four. So we got negative four and that is exactly what we were doing. Number five. What we have is three negatives and we're gonna add seven negatives to that. So we have three negatives. And we're going to add seven negatives, so we're going to add more negatives, so it's going to be further down here. We should stop at negative 10 right here. So this is what that looks like, starting at three negative and going all the way seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to the left, and the answer is negative 10. And you might be seeing, hey, this is easy. You just add them up. You are exactly right. See, if I if I were to show you here, if we have um, three plus seven, that equals 10, and negative three plus negative seven is negative 10. And there's something else I wanna mention here. Why the parentheses? What's going on with this parentheses? Well, you might learn in PEMDAS that you would use the parentheses first, uh, and you might be thinking, eh, you can't do negative seven first and then negative three, you just get the same answer. Uh, but what they're doing here is they're splitting the operation of addition with the sign of the number, which is negative. So that's what these parentheses are doing. It's kind of like grammar with mathematics. This is the operation and that's the sign versus that looks like an operation too. It could be subtraction, right? So that's what's going on with that. Uh, negative four and negative one. So we start at negative four. Let's see if I can get my, here we go. We start at negative four, right here, and we go negative one to the left, so we go one to the left, the negative one. If it were adding positive one, then we go one to the right. And so we have that, boom, negative five. 
is that's where you land. And number seven, what we have is uh, the negative two plus the other negative two, it looks like this, right? We have negative two here, and then we add to that negative two, so from here to negative two to the left, and you arrive at negative four. Sorry, okay, negative four. And then we have negative six and negative eight. So negative six, that's gonna be tricky. They don't even have it right here. It's gonna be negative six is gonna be right there. I'm gonna write that in. A little tricksters right there. Negative six, and then if we go negative eight, that means we're gonna be going in the negative direction that way. And so that's going to look like this. And we arrive at negative 14. And so we gotta now, now. <laughs> What is it? You just add five plus four and throw a negative in front. That's been the uh, the overriding skill right here. They're both negatives. So you add them up and it's just a, a negative number that's further down the number line. Uh, I'm going to make this a wee bit smaller so I can get both sides here, and we're gonna go rapid fire here. So I want you to pause and make sure that you try each of these problems and see if you get them right. So negative one, negative 10, well, that's negative 11. Just add them up. What's nine plus one? It's 10, so this is gonna be negative 10. What is 90 plus 20? 90 plus 20 is 110, and the answer is gonna be negative 110. 52 plus 48, um, that's 100, isn't it? So this would be negative 100. Yes, 5 and 98, uh, 203. Oh, that one's so easy right there. That's a trickster right there. That's just straight up out of elementary school right there, 203. Now, when you have three of these, you just go right ahead, go left to right. 4 plus 5 is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15, and they're all negatives. So it's going to stay negative. Now if one of them were positive, we would do something different. That's for the next section. But for now, there you go. Uh, what I say? Negative 15. And then our last one here, well, second to last one. Uh, let's see. I'm wondering. Oh, so 50 and 75, that's 250. So 250 plus 345 is, um, boy, that's uh, like 500, 600, 695? Guess, I'm totally guessing right now. Oh, 500, oh, I was way off on that one. So yeah, I was just trying to do some mental math, but I knew that it was negative because you're adding a negative plus another negative plus another negative. They just keep on piling on top of each other. And finally, how do you add integers with the same sign well, I, I like to just add up your numbers, which they might call absolute values. And well, let's see what they say here. Add their absolute values. And what they're saying in absolute values is this. If you have negative uh, four plus negative five, I've been telling you just add up your numbers. Four plus five, that's nine. And keep that negative sign. Well, what's really happening here is when you add the numbers, we're really looking at the absolute value. So the absolute value of four, or the absolute value of negative four is four, and the absolute value of negative five is five. So if we add up their absolute values, four plus five is nine. See, that's that's where four plus five is nine, and then we use the sign of the integers as a sign of the sum. So the sign was negative, so we do that, boom. So I hope this has been helpful, and thanks for watching.